I got these from opposing counsel. When they agree to a settlement... I think it's just very petty. This isn't what lawyers count on. Again, I think it was pettiness, but I, I don't have another explanation. Danielle Beam took a case that didn't seem like it would add up to much. My client did some welding and fabrication for the defendant and didn't get paid for it. So they sued and eventually settled for $23,500. Pennies, I believe it's $25 each box. Not spare change, until it was. <laughs> um, at first I thought, you've gotta be kidding me. Um, and then we had to go through the logistics. Their settlement agreement did not specify how to pay, and JMF Enterprises broke the bank, the piggy bank. Again, it's showing you pennies, quarters, dimes, and I assume the ones you can't read are nickels. $23,500 in coins, so loose coins. It's hard to see, but I understand that these are coins. These JMF are sent Beam this video of them pouring the money into a steel box, which they delivered by flatbed truck and forklift to her office. What can I say on camera? Um, she refused to accept delivery. In our pleadings, we called it the figurative middle finger. You know the saying, in for a penny, in for 6,500 pounds of pennies. JMF is doubling down, arguing in court filings the coins are the current coin of the realm and constitute a legal tender of the settlement. Just to acquire that many took effort, but then to open them all up and dump them into a container. That is not just trying to pay a bill. Last week, she asked a judge to order JMF to stop penny pinching and pay up. Most people find it somewhat funny as long as you're not the one dealing with it. I think that took some real commitment. So I spoke to JD, the owner of JMF Enterprises by phone. He insists he is just trying to pay the bill. He had some of the change already, he says, maybe under the couch cushions, the rest he ordered from the bank. And he says at the end of the day, it is U.S. currency. It is. You know what they call that, Kim? They call that petty. Yeah, that's exactly what they call what that. They, they, call call that they call that petty. Yeah. And as she said, it's funny if you're not the one counting the coins. Yeah. Well, and she says she's described the story to other folks, and that's when they're, they're laughing. And she's like, no, I've had to call banks to see if they'll take it. I've had to try it's the... It's not, yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to figure out what to do with all of that change. I mean, some of us just have that little change container and don't get around to taking that in. Years. And, years And you're like, sits. oh, what a hassle. You yeah. don't need the forklift for that one. No. Okay. Thanks for that story and your two cents worth on it. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at you. Look at you two. You're out <laughs> Sorry. of control. Sorry. <laughs>